As far as we know, about half of the landmass of Scotland was covered with trees in prehistoric times. And by the time the Romans came, there was already considerable inroads being made on the woodland cover, a lot of it being used for building purposes, for boats and other implements. A Cranog is essentially an island dwelling um, constructed mainly of poles uh, round into the base of a, usually a loch. It's the term that comes from Irish Gaelic that cran meaning tree, so that itself explains its origins. And fortunately now we have in Loch Tay a reconstruction of one that gives a very good idea of just how much timber went into their construction. Although we think of Cranogs as being prehistoric, in fact they were built and used right through till medieval times. Around the 12th century in Scotland, a new type of construction was introduced from the continent. These Motton Bailey castles drew on Scotland's timber resources just as much as Cranogs did. From the 12th century in the era that we know as the feudal era, um, castles began to appear in Scotland, as they did elsewhere in Western Europe, essentially structures of timber and earth, with timber palisades, timber halls, timber towers, um, very little stonework used in, in the initial phases. We're in the Great Hall of Stirling Castle, built by James IV, that is at the end of the 15th, beginning of the 16th century. It has this great crowning glory, a hammer beam roof, which was very much the style uh, of that period. And this was to give a greater span without having the interruption of aisle posts uh, on either side. So you have a grand interior crowned by a, an equally grand roof. This was conspicuous consumption on a grand scale. Throughout Scotland, readily accessible timber was used as the building material of choice. The indigenous woodlands struggled to cope with demand, and Scotland started importing timber from the Baltic and beyond. The earliest towns in Scotland had houses very much of wooden construction right through until the late Middle Ages. Timber was very much frowned upon by the town councils of the period increasingly because there were fires. Um, as far as possible, they tried to reconstruct houses completely of stone from the 17th century onwards. Being the most ancient and probably the most workable of all Scottish traditional materials, it is very good that architects, designers, construction firms are now choosing to work in timber. They're choosing showpiece designs that, that show off timber to very, very good effect. And I think it's, um, it's good, in the beginning of the 21st century, to, to look at timber as a, as a material of the future.